Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here for another video showing the things that I got. I did one video already showing the things that I got from Frontier Records. They had a big sale and they were blowing out their vinyl records and some, I think they're, maybe it's just vinyl. I can't remember. Maybe, that's all I was looking at. And they had their records down to $9.99 or $14.99 a piece. Um, I think and now it might have been $9.99 for single discs, $14.99 for two might have been the general thing so this is another two that i picked up um this is sunstorm brothers in arms this is their 2022 release now i have heard of sunstorm for quite a few years now i think i have something early on by them sunstorm was started back in like 2006 and it was kind of a joe lynn turner band joe lynn turner of course from he's been in a lot of bands uh most notable i guess probably rainbow Back in the 80s, Joe Lynn Turner uh, was mainly, it was like a super group with him and a bunch of other people that were mainly in other type of bands. And they put out about five albums with Joe Lynn Turner. And then in uh, 2021, Joe Lynn Turner was out and they brought in Ronnie Romero. And then this is a 2022 album also with Ronnie Romero. Um, so, you know, if you're familiar with ronnie romero he also <laughs> was a singer in the latter years of rainbow uh in the 2000s he he had done some stuff there at least some live albums i know of and he uh was on the vandenberg album 2020 that came out 2020 uh he was on that and so now he's in sunstorm so frontier records frontier records does these things where they pair up a lot of musicians they've always got you know you call them loosely super groups where they do a lot of projects with similar musicians and they put out a lot of albums and they all tend to be either you know power metal type stuff in this case rock hard rock aor type hard rock which is kind of what sunstorm was they have another band ferryman which uh is similar that has a bunch of different people but they're notorious for that in my opinion and a lot of times i overlook those projects just because there's so many and it's just like they all start to sound kind of the same and so that's probably why i never paid much attention to sunstorm but at 9.99 i went ahead and grabbed it i think this is on yeah this is on a clear clear vinyl um it is a gatefold but it is only a one record set i think the inside just has lyrics but anyway and it's good stuff. You know, it's just straightforward, melodic, rock, hard rock, AOR, AOR tendencies. Um, and again, this is, um, you know, with with the uh, Ronnie Romero on vocals. So he's popping up there. Now, also on this album is Alessandro, which is the Alessandro Del Vecchio. And he is a singer, keyboard player, mainly keyboard, but he does sing too, but he does keyboards for a lot of these bands. So he's in this band. Um, he has been with Jorn. He's done stuff with Hardline, uh, Face Edge, uh, Love Killers with Tony Harnell from TNT. Uh, one of those things, again, where he appears on all of these other little projects. So this is one of the projects that he's on. I think he's been in this band for a while. Now, I at first, aside from maybe hearing his name in that, I he really first came to light for me in yet another one of those projects where they put him, Alessandro, with Michael Sweet of Striper. Soul Driver, this came out last year. So this was a 2023 release. So I was familiar with him because of this, and now I see his name everywhere because he's been in so many bands. But a lot of these, uh, Hardline keeps coming up. That seems to be one that... Uh, you know has been around the longest and a lot of these guys started in those bands like back in the 80s <clears throat> so alessandro is on the sunstorm album he did the thing with michael sweet and then he and, and, and like i said ronnie romero on, on vocals but uh, alessandro also is on the second album we're showing today and that's enemy eyes another project that he's got uh on this and this one is a two record set and it's kind of similar in sound i mean it's still in that kind of sweet spot of melodic hard rock aor type stuff this is a one a, only a one-off band there's only been one album so far and this is 2022 now this one has vocalist jimmy how you pronounce his name Gio, gioli 
something along that line. And um, and he also has been in hard line. So again, you're seeing a lot of the same characters working together on different projects. He also sings with uh, Axel Rudy Pell. I believe he's the one that did some stuff with Sonic the Hedgehog games back in the 2000s or something. Some of the soundtrack stuff. But um, this is the other one of the other projects that they put out and so you know again i grabbed it uh it it's you know in that nice sweet spot of just melodic hard rock so yeah so two more albums and in these, this case related <laughs> from the label on that super sale they had so there are a couple more and i will pair those together and show those in another one but check them out if you want these are you know interesting uh little projects that go on with that and i'll see you later rock on and rock hard